since the rise of the cloud, organizations have become increasingly accustomed to deploying their businesses on public clouds. In this video, I'm going to present to you the challenges and solutions to managing your microservices APIs under a hybrid cloud or multi-cloud deployment pattern. Public clouds efficiently help users abstract the details of hardware infrastructure, but more and more businesses are shifting away from using a single public cloud provider's services for fear of vendor locking or availability issues. People are becoming more accustomed to using multiple public clouds or building private clouds in addition to using public clouds. Multi-cloud refers to the simultaneous use of multiple public clouds, deploying business merely or heterogeneously on these clouds. It will use standard services as much as possible to avoid vendor locking. Hybrid cloud refers to, in addition to using one or more public clouds, also having their own private clouds or data centers. Implementing multi-cloud and hybrid cloud strategies can make managing cloud-based microservices a great deal more complex. One common challenge is API management, as many microservices rely on APIs for communication. Therefore, when deploying microservices, their APIs must be exposed externally to allow connections with external parties and provide services. An API gateway can help you with that, as it enables secure and efficient exposure of microservices APIs. When implementing multi-cloud and hybrid cloud strategies, the need for an API gateway goes beyond its basic functionality. What traits should you be looking for when choosing an ideal API gateway? First off, you might want an API gateway with multi-cluster management capability. Multi-cluster management means having the ability to monitor, configure, and operate two or more clusters from a unified dashboard with a single API server and a single command. The end result in many cases is the ability to orchestrate a single application across multiple clusters. In a multi-slash-hybrid cloud environment, the services deployed in each cloud or private data center may vary significantly. So users may need to deploy separate API gateway clusters in each cloud with different configurations, certificates, and API keys. In such cases, an API gateway product that supports multi-cluster management can significantly reduce the management costs for administrators. Users will have access to a unified console to select the cluster they wish to configure and monitor. This way, they can bring a gateway cluster online or offline depending on the current business deployment situation. Users can also view the status of all these API gateway clusters on the console, including common QPS, latency, gateway cluster CPU, and memory usage, etc. It is common for businesses to have dedicated API gateway administrators to manage and maintain all API gateway clusters. But some gateway configurations, such as adding routes and configuring plugins, can be handled by the developers themselves. This is where the collaboration feature of an API management tool comes in handy. With collaboration, administrators can invite other members of the organization to manage API gateway clusters using RBAC, role-based access control, or other strategies to assign different permissions to team members. For example, separating the role of organization admin, one that will be able to perform any operation, and Service admin, one that can only maintain a few services and routes, comes in handy. This approach ensures the security of operations while implementing collaboration. It also facilitates timely account recoveries or permission modifications in case of employee turnover or changes in job positions. Finally, you might want an API gateway with a wide range of infrastructure compatibility. As containerization and container orchestration technologies mature, many microservices are moving from virtual machines to running on Kubernetes. This means that users may use Kubernetes, traditional virtual machines, or even physical machines such as their private data centers at the same time. Suppose the API gateway product chosen by the user is feature-rich and meets all its business needs, 
but is limited by the underlying infrastructure or lacks mature installation tools. The user would either have to give up the gateway altogether, or carry out additional development to enable the API gateway to run on certain infrastructure. So, be sure to check the infrastructure compatibility before choosing an API gateway. Now that we've established you want an API gateway with multi-cluster management capability, collaboration feature, and rich infrastructure compatibility, how do you actually choose a gateway? If you are deploying your business in a multi-cloud slash hybrid cloud fashion, or you think you might be doing that in the future, we do not recommend solely using your cloud provider's built-in API gateway solution because of issues such as vendor locking, incompatibility, and asymmetrical features among different providers' products. Instead, open-source API gateways like Apache API 6 or Kong might be just the thing for you. You won't be able to use the same API gateway across all clouds and private data centers. A mature and robust open-source API gateway should be able to handle multi-cluster management and collaborations with ease. And when some functionality is missing, these API gateways usually allow users to extend them in various ways. For example, Apache API 6 allows users to extend it using languages and technologies such as Go, Java, Python, Lua, WebAssembly, etc. So open source API gateways, they are terrific, they solve most of your problems, and they are free. You just need to remember that these open source API gateways usually adopt open core open source strategy, where core features of the product are open sourced. Still, enterprise level management capabilities such as visualized console, multi-cluster management, auditing, SSO or single sign-on, etc., are often paid or integrated into their commercial products. These enterprise functionalities are for organizations that feel like the cost of researching and developing on their own is too high. For them, they can always contact the original manufacturers of these open source software, such as API 7.ai behind Apache API 6, Koning behind Kong, etc. These manufacturers often provide different enterprise-level API gateway products and support services. Especially in the scenario of multi-cloud and hybrid-cloud, the software-as-a-service products of the API gateway manufacturers often come with a ready-to-use management console. Moreover, SaaS services typically provide a private gateway control panel for each tenant, connecting it to user-deployed or SaaS-hosted gateway instances using strategies such as MTLS to ensure data security and privacy and provide management capabilities. So, open source API gateway is great. Enterprise level API gateway is also great. That being said, it is up to each business to decide which is the most suitable and cost-effective way to manage their multi-cloud slash hybrid cloud microservices. While we have presented various guidelines and options in this video, note that there is no one-size-fits-all solution. You should select the option that best fits your business needs and development goals. And that is the end of this video. Thank you for watching and subscribe for more videos like this. See you next time.